takes getting out there and taking those first few steps. It really is an amazing experience and anyone can do it. I feel like a kid very often, and that's a great thing to be able to say when you're 64 years old. I've earned all those years to get to where I am, to do what I do. So when someone says, you know, you're too old, who are they to say? It's a film about empowerment. The Human Race, a soon to be released documentary, follows runners over the age of 50 as they train for their first race. Tampa native Liz Bassey, who you might know from a few years <laughs> on a few shows, one crime show, CSI in particular, produced and directed the film, which was shot in part right here in the Bay Area. And this past weekend, she joins us along this morning with 70 year old marathon runner. Do we say 71? 71. 71. <laughs> Catherine Switzer, I hate to say your age. But ladies, but come you're on. looking good. I know. <laughs> I'm proud of it. What can I tell you? <laughs> well, congratulations on the race this weekend, and uh, that's kind of what's part of the documentary that we can't wait to, to hear more about. Thank you. There's so much to discuss this morning. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> and, and really, I mean, talking about the race, you think that this is all about runners. Maybe you're not a runner out there. Yeah. You know, I'm not. But there is so much more. There's a big message behind this. Liz, why did you want to tackle this in the documentary world? Uh, I wanted to tackle it in the documentary world because running has always been an important part of my life. And I wanted people to feel the level of empowerment that I feel. And I, I, I hit the age of 40. Uh, I'm now 45. I'm proud of it too. Uh, I'm for, we're all going to just come out and I say, know, I'm 45. Mean. But when I was 40, I started wondering if there was an age at which I was going to have to hang up my shoes and take up a calmer sort of sport. You know, I hoped not. I hope I could run for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. But I started doing research and I found out that there are people in their 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s running marathons. And I wanted to meet them. And I wanted to talk to them about them. I know they existed. I wanted to know they existed, but I wanted to find out the reason why they do it. I wanted to find out what motivates them. I wanted to find out why they keep doing it, what they're getting out of it. I wanted to follow them as they were running races. So um, luckily for me, I contacted Catherine. I wrote her out of the blue because I've been a huge fan of hers for years. Was she the first one you contacted? Is this how it all began? Or No, she contacted after I got a little swagger. Okay. Like okay. I shot okay. some of it. It's my first documentary. <laughs> so I was like, I didn't want to call her right off the bat. You know, I mean, it was definitely a thought. Yeah, okay. But I, and then I thought, well, no, I just have to wait till I have a little bit of this in the can so then I could call her and say, I've been shooting this for three or four months. And, you know, <laughs> and so uh, I contacted you about midway through yeah. and I thought I would just do an interview. And then she wrote me back and an email that I'll probably save forever saying, uh, do you want to follow me when I run the New York Marathon? And it was like, well, let me think about it. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Well, and I think we need to remind people what your story is and why this was a big deal, why you needed to have some courage to call you. Give us a little bit of your background. And, and again, you ran the race Ro this week. Rock star of yeah. the running world <laughs> here. Rock star well, female runner. The short version of the story is that I was the first woman to pin on a bib number and officially register and run the Boston Marathon. This was 50 years ago, 1967. And during the race, an official attacked me and tried to throw me out of the race because I was a girl and tried to rip off my bib numbers, which was 261. And my boyfriend decked the official, and I went on to finish and kept the number. And it was a moment that changed my life, and therefore, eventually, it was a moment that changed millions of women's lives because it really radicalized me to the empowerment of running and the, and the health giving benefits. And I wanted to pass this on to as many women as possible. So, really, my life, my career for the last 50 years has been about doing that. And to celebrate that, last uh, April in the Boston Marathon, I ran it again. 50 years later, um, first woman who ever ran a marathon 50 years after she ran her first one, which, as Liz said, is not testimony to any of my greatness. It's how few women ran 50 years ago. And now there are more women runners in the United States than men. If yeah. you can imagine that 58% of all the women out there who are running um, are, are, uh, are running because they feel empowered, strong, healthy. And this film is about any age any possibility. And, and, and the thing that's important, because you're saying that you're not really a runner, one of the things that I want to show people is that you don't have to run a marathon. One of my runners is running a 5K, a 10K, uh, half marathon, marathon, ultra marathon. I show people at uh, all these different ages running different types of races, because uh, it's not about running a marathon. I, I haven't run one. I'm going but to. <laughs> I'm going to run my first one, because I was so taken when I watched Catherine run the New York Marathon, and I lived in New York for a period and of time. And your husband 
husband is now a runner just from documenting this oh, and yeah. being a camera Maybe guy. That's what I need to I do. Know. I need to come work for you. You know, <laughs> honestly, you're welcome to. Uh, you're welcome no to. Um, but no, he uh, he's my cameraman, which was great. Yeah. So we traveled around doing this, and he was so inspired by these people because I can see why. Well, and he thought, well, I'll try it. And then he did. Um, one of my producers is is Debbie Boyles. She is a coach for uh, Run Tampa. She's a wonderful mm -hmm. running coach, and she talks about how. You can start people off slowly and have them run 15 steps and then 16 and then they're, suddenly they're going around the block and that's an important thing for people to realize it's not about running a marathon it's about doing something so my husband he started running 15 steps then 16 because he wasn't intimidated by that you mm -hmm. know and now he's out there running 10 k's with me he's lost 30 pounds i mean wow. you know but you know it's it's like humana says and, and humana is a sponsor of this mm -hmm. film yes. it's so terrific and and they say this is our reason to start with healthy mm -hmm. one of the things i'd like you to understand is 50 years ago, people talked about women the way they're talking about seniors now. You know, you can't do it, you're too weak, you're too fragile. That's the way they talk about seniors. And now we're realizing the more you do, the more you can do. Mm -hmm. and, and you put one foot in front of the other, whether it's 15 steps at first, mm -hmm. or up to a marathon. Yeah, All right. The, the capacity yeah. for We're joining these ladies. We're out of time <laughs> with the documentary, hopefully this summer. Yes, is that June. we're thinking? Yes. June. The yes. human race. The human race. The human race. We'll keep everybody posted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.